Hi guys, so let's let's start. Great. So uh, today we will talk about uh, uh, how to compress your uh, neural network. So we talked before on, on uh, virus of algorithms, uh, how to uh, achieve uh, uh, great results on uh, on uh, virus of tasks. Uh, and to, today we'll talk about, uh, and then we we you uh, we talk about the hardware for for deep no, no, no network. So now we will talk about how we can uh, reduce the computational uh, complexity of your of your neural network, and the few actually we will talk about a few methods how to do it. So uh, sorry, so. First, we will we'll talk about number of representations of your uh, data. Then uh, we, we will uh, talk about pruning and, and the bottleneck layers and quantizations uh, of neural networks. So let's start off your, of number of representations. So uh, commonly, uh, most of the computer science problems are, uh, or most of your uh, previous uh, uh, programming programs uh, that you uh, coded, you worked with floating point uh, 32 uh, rep representations. So it actually give you a very uh, huge virus of numbers that, 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 that you, you can rep represent. And uh, your, uh, it's actually, and uh, your uh, given, and your number and your ac accuracy. So you will have, uh, it's, uh, you can achieve here uh, great accuracy. And then you become, uh, it's actually a floating point uh, 16, it's uh, uh, reduced uh, representations of uh, floating point 32 representation. Uh, and here we can actually, uh, it's uh, represented by 16 uh, uh, bits and contains less secu less security and you, you 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 can actually have uh, less range of of numbers okay but as we know and uh, actually a lot of works uh, known that in neural in deep neural networks you uh, can rep you uh, don't need a lot of uh, number to rep represent actually you can use a low precision uh, data for represent your your data and you can learn uh, and achieve uh, great pe performance by using some uh, some uh, tricks and, hi and hints that we will talk about it, some algorithms that actually help you to uh, learn how to represent in lower accuracy uh, representations. Great. So uh, actually, we uh, working with uh, less uh, accurate numbers, uh, especially integer, uh, give you a great option to. Uh, consume less power and uh, actually give your your algorithms to uh, execute your algorithm on low power embedded systems and and, and platforms that you, we we talked on uh, before. Great. So again, so here uh, we, we we have a toolbar that actually we can see that uh, working with. Uh, uh, cal calculation and uh, communication with less uh, uh, bit representations, it's actually save you a lot of uh, uh, power. Great. So the, f the first way to uh, the first way to uh, reduce computational, okay, is by pruning your uh, neural network. So actually, uh, let's see. Uh, we, uh, here we we have uh, our uh, fully con uh, multi perceptron layer. So uh, and this is like uh, this multi perceptron layer likes uh, looks li uh, after we pruned a few of the connections. Okay, so actually. Uh, Pruning reminds uh, which algorithm that you've seen before? Dropout. Great. So you have seen before dropout. So as you can see, we, we actually reduce our. Uh, so we 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 pruning the synopsis from uh, uh, from no from uh, one layer to another layer, and this way you we save calculation that we need to do. And uh, so actually, it's le uh, our uh, neural network uh, consumes less co complexity. Okay, so one of the, so uh, uh, dropout is one of the actually uh, naive op uh, options to do uh, pruning. Okay, dropout. So we will see a few more uh, advanced 
uh, ways. So one one of them is it's actually presented by Han Han et al. at, in, at uh, NIPS 15. So it's actually uh, iterative, iteratively. Uh, yeah, I will try. Yeah, no, no. Yeah. Talk to me. The way to do pruning in drop dropout is only for training and it's uh, probabilistic. Yeah. We always train. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, dropout, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're, you're right. So, dropout is actually, it's like, it's not way to prune, but but if, if actually, if you're talking about uh, training, so you, you, you are saving uh, your. Uh, during training, yeah. So, but uh, yeah, but a little, little bit, yeah. You're you are you you are right. But again, it's actually pruning. You you can see a dropout like uh, if you like uh, you know like intuition. Huh? Dropout, for good. dropout for good, yeah. Dropout for for good, but it's uh, maybe like some intuition. So how it works, but again, in uh, in real in in uh, uh, when we will do when we will prune the neural network, so we will have less connections. Less connectivities on the uh, inference side, inference side. Okay. Pruning dropout. Ah, you okay? You are, you are asking how 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 the dropout how the pruning works? Again, so you have a few. Uh, you we have few algorithms how it it, it works. Uh, uh, actually, uh, the, the algorithms that uh, we will talk about him. It's actually you reducing your 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 connectivity and looking on the other accuracy. So what it depends on accuracy. So when you see you see that uh, when you harm on your accuracy, it's actually uh, it's learned not to harm your accuracy. So it's learnable to uh, to remove only. Not not essential, uh, con not essential uh, a connection uh, synapses. Okay, yeah. But of of, of course, again, your optimized algorithm uh, of for your loss. So uh, the loss uh, give gives you the measuring how to. Uh, it gives you the intuition how to which which of the connections has to remove. Yeah. Qu questions? Great. Great. So. Uh, so uh, Han et al. algorithm. So the, what he pr 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 presented, it's making actually pruning of neural networks. So first we, we train our connectivities, then we start to prune our connectivity. We are trained the weights and do our pruning connectivities. When we uh, see that, that when we, we, we actually achieve a, a less accuracy, then we stop. Okay, so we. We are pruning until we are achieving some. We then then we see uh, until we see some uh, degradation in our accuracy. Okay, so we do we are doing it for each layer, and it in it, it iteratively we actually for, forward our uh, actually uh, uh, do, uh, doing this step by step, layer by layer, until we pruned all our neural, neural net networks, and uh, 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 we have actually we give us some depend on how many how many loss we want to we can. Uh, have uh, depends on our how many uh, synapses we uh, re remove. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 it's a good, good. so uh, most of the pruning algorithms are work on post-training. So, like you have, you already have trained your neural networks, you achieved your your, your result, and then you're taking your pre-trained model. And then you do fine tuning or post training, so it's uh, it's, it's uh, the same uh, the same uh, the same uh, the, 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 the same okay. So and then you you you're starting to reduce your connections and uh, give and you will you you actually have your pruned neural networks. Okay, so this is your network on in uh, actually have on in, in when you have when you de de deploy it, you have less connections physically, you have less connections because you remove them, not unlike in dropouts. So, so in talk, uh, only it was uh, removed uh, during d during tra training again. So, uh, you can uh, reduce from uh, 60 million to actually six million parameters. Okay, so. Uh, it's uh, you can most of the neural net, net, net networks con, uh, can be pruned uh, dramatically, but uh, you ha we have uh, some. Uh, okay, let's continue on our alg 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 algorithm. So again, we starting our training connectivity. So we started from some uh, basis. So it's a uh, we, we 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 have zero accuracy, zero accuracy in our loss. 
So uh, then we uh, starting to prune. So when we start to prune, uh, we actually can can see so uh, the number of parameters uh, w when we uh, prune more and more parameters, it, the our loss is have exp exponential degradation. So it's a very yeah. You perform you perform you, you perform the pruning during training phase, yeah, and then you test uh, during inference test, yeah. <coughs> Great. Okay, so uh, then you we actually do some uh, what we we, we, we do we pr we prune our connections that actually it's a give it's a achieve, we, we achieve a lot of the. Uh, a lot of deg degradation and non accuracy, but we do actually our train weight. So we prune and then ret retrain. Prune, retrain. We do it it iteratively. So we want actually to remove our connections and then actually to train all neural networks for actually adjust for uh, for adjustability of uh, to, to the, 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 that your neural network will adjust these uh, changes. Okay, and then you this way actually when we do pr actually retrain your weights. You can, we can uh, prune more. Okay, we can more. We, we can m prune more and achieve l more accuracy. Okay. It's different than pruning before you start training. Like start training with. A uh, yes, it's it's not uh, actually more most of the algorithms are not, not visible to uh, learn and actually you 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 want to learn uh, from zero from scratch. And to prune on the uh, by by the way, actually on the way, yeah, it's it's very it's uh, it's very difficult. It's actually you 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 add more noise, yes. So d d actually pruning and quantization, it's like adding noise. So adding noise uh, when you are not achieved your some global minima, your 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 neural network will. Uh, uh, har it's it's will ha very harm to your performance. It's, and will you it, it will uh, di diverge very fast. So you prefer to to start from some point, from some converge point, from some converge. Yeah. Questions, guys? Great. Okay. So uh, as as we see that uh, pruning pr plus retraining and actually iterative pruning and retraining, it's actually it gives us more. Uh, it's the best way to do it, and it uh, gives us uh, less uh, degra de degradation. Actually, we, 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 we can prune from uh, for a, a medium-sized uh, data sets uh, like Cypher 10, Cypher 100. We can uh, we can prune more than uh, eight, 90 percent of your uh, neural network and still achieve very good accuracy. So most uh, actually, actually uh, a lot of uh, 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 actually pruning algorithms is, uh, exist in on TensorFlow and on PyTorch, uh, but in inherent you, you you can use uh, some uh, API that uh, uh, prune your algorithm. So it's uh, it's a tool that you can use it. Great. So let's see let's see what happens to our to our uh, to our weights so it's very interesting so as we you, as we can see so before uh, start before pruning uh, our our weights is actually distributed like gaussian way gaussian distribution yeah so after after pruning we actually uh, can see it's, it's, so some very interesting so we have here peak so it's like uh, two half of, of gaussian and here we can actually it's missing yeah uh, and uh, after re actually retraining uh, we actually see uh, some more continuous dis dis distribution here, yeah. But uh, it's again, it's not uh, our Gaussian distribution that that, that that we had before. Okay, so it, uh, we we started from uh, this, this uh, initial dis distribution on f of uh, weights. It's actually some uh, some dis distribution of weights per layer, and this is our final dis distribution after the training. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Both of uh, st st start one of you. Yeah. What is the importance of choosing initialization uh, distribution for our weights for pruning perspective? So, if we initialize from Gaussian, we will get um, example this here. But if we can initialize our weights from some sort of multi-model distribution, mm -hmm. you, 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 you. Okay, okay, okay. Great question. <laughs> because I know the answer. <laughs> yeah, so you know, really, it's very good, great, great, great question. So, if you are looking for 
uh, actually, uh, it's, it's not really matter which uh, which initialization of weights you you use. Uh, when you have regularization uh, of L2, okay, most of the uh, uh, your distribution will be finally be <laughs> Gaussian. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you if you don't use a filter condition, so you're, you're talking about some uh, you know it's not uh, you're talking about some tasks that are not uh, uh, actually it's not classification yeah it's it's it's, it's some other tasks so uh, actually actually uh, the work that uh, the the, the, the uh, yeah so some works uh, actually uh, presented that it doesn't matter which of uh, wh what is the initial uh, uh, dis distribution it's actually uh, uh, its behavior uh, it's have the same behavior yeah it looks like the middle graph shows that the problem by the uh, the activation is the lowest the, yeah lowest uh, amplitude of waves. Yeah. But there are more ways to run, you said. You said that there are several uh, algorithms of pruning. Yeah, you you have a few you 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 actually you have a few uh, methods to of pruning. One of the met it's actually one of the methods by, by removing the co connections. I have no uh, we have uh, no t no time to talk about all the algorithms, but other algorithms are uh, there are algorithms that are working like on uh, reducing the ma the matrix the ma dimension uh, by ranking or uh, the using the composition like like SVD or using factor factorization. Or actually, actually how to do more efficient how to reduce the number the uh, number of uh, uh, computations that that, that 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 you're doing. Okay, okay so you you have few uh, uh, edits, few approaches of pruning. Removing connections is one of the of the approaches. One of the most famous. Yeah, some questions. You know, yeah, you can. No, no. You have you you have less connections. You 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 do less compli You do less. Uh, 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 less operations, you calculate less because you have yeah. You you are not, you are not you are, you are actually eliminating this this, this value. You you are not you are not uh, you have a lot of uh, algorithms that actually from sparse coding that that, that do it very uh, efficient to uh, calculate to uh, uh, multiply uh, numbers that you have represented with a lot of zeros. Yeah, but ag ag again for. Uh, Think about it that you are not uh, you have less com com you you have less comp computations, yeah. So and uh, as as less computation you have, your your complexity of uh, is uh, less, yeah. Great. So uh, one other uh, in, in interesting options, uh, interesting layers that actually can uh, help us to save comp computation is actually a bottleneck layer. Okay. So uh, most of you m m uh, heard about it, and it's, it's layer actually inherit now in most of in most of the in it, it actually one of the layers of most of uh, uh, of uh, the newest uh, uh, the modern uh, ar architectures like in the Desnet and uh, of, uh, uh, even ResNet. Okay, so the bottleneck layer. It's actually layer that uh, con contains few, actually few nodes, less nodes, than compared to its previous layers. Okay, so it's actually learned the presentation of our input by less dimensional, by lower dimensional. So it's actually we 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 are starting from some high dimensional, then we 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 take our our bottleneck layer, and then actually we. Uh, but uh, this actually uh, button, this uh, it's actually less than than we have here less dim dimensions. So we learned to represent the efficient data here of this input. Okay, this way we can uh, we can uh, and this uh, actually we using one by by one convolution. So we save comp computations here yeah, because one one is actually we have less computation by than doing filters three by by, by three. Yeah, so we. Actually, a uh, uh, very cheap cost. Uh, we, 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 uh, with less uh, comp computation, we uh, uh, learn the representations of the input. This way, we can actually uh, we can uh, add more and more layers, uh, and uh, not uh, uh, actually have less uh, parameters than we will have using 
a, a very uh, very wide range uh, layers and uh, uh, we will it's a, and this layer but this layer actually help us to make efficient deep uh, convolutional layer, uh, con convolutional uh, neural networks okay so uh, actually it's give us these options so oh sorry i, I want to show it oh one moment. okay so here we can we, we can see here so, so this is actually our uh, very uh, this ar architectures contains a lot of parameters but have no uh, actually they have uh, huge filters and have no bottlenecks and this architecture actually have less par par parameters and have and uh, achieve more uh, uh, better ac accuracy but uh, they have uh, and they more deep they are deeper than th th this architecture and they con con consist of a lot of one by one filters uh, kernels and bottlenecks yeah so dense net uh, and you 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 have uh, a lot of interesting architectures here. Great. So let's start talking about neural network quantization. Great. So uh, f uh, first, I will we will we'll talk about uh, quantization neural networks at inference at inference uh, phase. Okay. So uh, what will, uh, the algorithms that I will show you now? It's actually part of the algorithms. So that are, are uh, aided to. Uh, Redu reduce the presentations of our data, weights and activations, okay, m m uh, for uh, getting uh, efficient, that is a, present a presentation, uh, quantized neural networks during inference time. Not on training, so uh, um, uh, w w actually uh, we, uh, we, uh, we, we will not, we will talk about training, but it's n it doesn't matter if we trained our neural networks in floating point, but eventually, in inference time, we will have option to uh, use uh, low, pre low precision, actually, uh, uh, low precision representation. Wait. So, uh, the, 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 the first algorithm that I will so show you, it's uh, uniform quanti quanti quantization. Actually, it's, uh, his name is nice, so you, you can find him. It's uh, one of the uh, far works. So uh, what is training scheme of this algorithm? How it works? So first, it's calculating, stat it's calculating s statistics of, of our weights, OK, mean and the CD. Uh, we uh, will add some noise uh, with some Bernoulli mask. We will clip our, va our values, OK? So we will clip only interesting. Uh, we, we, will, uh, short, uh, we will make our uh, range of number of, uh, of our, our range shorter. To uh, for but represent more uh, interesting uh, actually if, uh, uh, the, uh, areas that have more uh, fish uh, that have uh, that are more important to our our, our accuracy, and uh, we will do it in in uh, graduals in it, in uh, gradual uh, step by step uh, uh, operation, uh, and we will propagate our uh, way our uh, loss uh, using. Uh, straight through estimator, and we will talk about why we actually need, need it. A and on training scheme, we will we on training scheme we will uh, quant we will uh, actually uh, inference uh, only uh, quant quantized uh, values. So we will have quantized low precision weights and activations. So we are not talking about now about gradients because gradients are now represented in floating point. Okay, because we are not, it's, uh, it's training him for inference. So uh, later I will give you more perspective about gradients and why, uh, and why we actually, how, how to uh, do quantization, uh, how to use quantization on training uh, phase. Great. So, so here we have how to propagate over discrete numbers. So we, we, we can see, so here actually it's continuous uh, representations, and here it's actually quantized representations. So we have uh, discrete, discrete representations of our data. So uh, we, will use, we will use some approximations for, uh, uh, for actually, we will use an uh, we, uh, for uh, uh, propagate our data. Okay, so we will not prop propagate you on our discrete uh, uh, discrete uh, domain. We will use some approximate some continuous approximation for this. Okay, so uh, 
why uh, so here we so this is this algorithm is uniform quantization so we actually quantize our range on uh, each of our beans have uh, actually the same uh, area on x yeah so this is very so it's simple algorithm that uh, can be very efficient uh, implemented on uh, all range of hardwares but uh, let's see about some perspective why it's not why it's not uh, optimal because let's uh, it's actually uh, his it's histograms of a uh, quantization error it's it's quantization error it's, it's actually a uh, quantized uh, qu quantized value minus uh, the real value so we actually can see that uh, w when we are talking about ver very low uh, precision like uh, less than three, three, three bits uh, the error quantization it's uh, not not act like uniform okay so uh, here from 5 bits and 4 bits it's like it's acts like uniform so using uniform uh, we have some intuition why why to use it by but f 3 bits and 2 bits uh, actually they are like well, it's like gaussian or not but like it's not like gaussian but it's uh, it's not it's non uniform some non uniform behavior of the quantization error okay so using uniform quantization it's uh, it's uh, very easy. It's uh, easy to uh, implement it on, on real hardware uh, because it have actually the uh, same intervals of on, of the bins. But it uh, could be not sub suboptimal. Okay. Great. So actually, we uh, here is some results that that, uh, that this, this algorithm achieves. Uh, unfortunately, we can see here. Uh, it's actually you can see it in on 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 your uh, computers because it's actually I have some problem with the the, the screen. But it 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 achieves very good results until for for until uh, when your precision is uh, four uh, bit weights and four bit activations. When you go lower, then Four bits. It's actually it's achieve. It's have uh, we have some uh, degradation. Okay, so this degradation has actually happened before because I the previous uh, plot. Good. So actually, the other approach to do uh, to uh, to do quantization is to do non-uniform quantization. Okay. So actually, a uh, non-uniform quantization, it's a distribution, weight distribution of error quantization. So what I mean by this? So uh, on training scheme, we on training scheme we first uh, we applying CDF function of on the weights and activation. So what we uh, so when we applied CDF on uh, uh, d uh, on uh, distribution that actually. Uh, have uh, Gaussian uh, behavior, so we have we got uniform distribution, yeah, because CDF on on Gaussian we get, we got uniform. Then we add a noise that it's actually quantization error noise. So this noise is actually uh, sh should be emulated our quantization error, okay, and uh, for emulating quantization error, and uh, then. We uh, propagate our uh, actually we propagate our forward. Uh, then we make uh, inverse CDF to return to uh, uh, the, or the original distribution of the weights, and then we uh, gr uh, we ma make our back propagation and we propagate. Uh, we actually update our weights, but we do it on the original domain, not on the uh, transformed domain. Okay. So uh, this uh, this actually <laughs> this scheme works like many others in a gradual way. So we do it gradually. We first uh, quantize our first layer uh, by uh, on training on training uh, phase. We adding noise uh, and uh, we adding noise only on this layer and actually do our epoch. Then we update it. The, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Um. Any data type that I can think of in the signals that we're going to work on is already quantized uh, when we acquire it. So, quantized in the sense of an image, a camera, or a spectrum, or a and then we already have quantized inputs which 
a noisy, different than the noisy quantization that we get through quality input. And then when we run them through the network, uh, I don't understand what's the extra value of adding more noise if our input is noisy from the beginning. From the beginning. Okay, you, 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 you take an assumption that you're working on, for, first you're starting from continuous uh, domain, yeah? First you start from continuous domain, and then you want to, and it's actually your, uh, this domain is your working domain, so it's, uh, uh, you, you, you can assume that it's actually a zero, a zero error, okay? So in this domain you have zero error, because it's your, it's, it's your original domain, so you, you have trained your neural network, so you achieved some results. It's what your capability of your neural network, of your specific neural network. So and then you want to recover to it result. You know, so you're thinking it's it's it's, it's the prior, right? Yeah. So the prior. So you you if you're taking the assumption that it 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 is your results. So what I want to do is I want to recover this results. I don't try to do better than than this neural network did. Uh, actually, in the most cases, you ask very interesting questions. In 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 most cases, quantization error uh, actually uh, have uh, some. Uh, you actually achieve better results rather than uh, your your original neural networks. Why it could happen? What do you think? It doesn't make it doesn't make sense. You saying that, that so again so it doesn't make sense. You saying that uh, using uh, less representation uh, less representations uh, uh, give you better results than using uh, floating point operations. Yeah. It's like it feels quantization feels like in terms of uh, uh, gradient. It's like using greater uh, learning rate. For example, less resolution, uh, bigger steps means you can miss the, the absolute minimum. Okay. For hearing with quantization, again, you limit the, the resolution of your uh, gradients, so it doesn't feel like you can get better results. Yes, so what you want us to say is that it smooths the optimization surface? Uh, again, it's uh, it's one of the interpretation, yeah, but the interpretation it actually works like a regularization, because you're adding noise. Most of the, yeah, so, Again, so uh, you can you can look on you can uh, th think about uh, quantization not very low precision quantization but some middle uh, mid range quantization like eight bits. It's it's like adding noise, noise adding noise to to, to the system. And we actually uh, learned before that adding stochastic sto no noise to, to, to the system it actually works works like regularization and uh, can actually outperform. Our original uh, result that, that we uh, achieved using floating point. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's have actually a very interesting phenomenon. You are not uh, you are here. You are not reducing the number of parameters. No, I said you you you. In the number of parameters. I said it's like reducing when you reduce the expressibility of your model Exper to compensate <laughs> the overfitting. Yeah. So here you actually uh, reduce the, the, the representation of your of, of your of, of your numbers, and you uh, uh, and you uh, 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 reduce the uh, complexity of your network, the actually the number of operations that you you need. Okay. Great. So again, in training sim, it's here. It's here. You are only using quantized neural networks. So here, here we are. You uh, here all the, from the first step. We have we we quantize our 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 weights and activations and uh, uh, ach achieving some results. Okay, so and me measuring the results. Great. So uh, actually, I uh, answered you before, but, but why uh, <laughs> why using so intuition? Why why using non-uniform quantization? It's actually because it's a, it's we sampled some uh, random. Uh, uh, weights and uh, it's uh, it's uh, histo histograms of these weights, so we can we can actually see that it's a, it's have a Gaussian distribution. Yeah. So it's actually w w one of the intuition why use non-uniform quantization. 
so and here we actually present some results again it's it's our results and it's 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 red but you see low so we actually uh, achieved uh, not uh, we, we we achieved good results and on, on terms of the complexity so it's uh, it's actually the plot of the axis of a com complexity and this is the axis uh, axis, uh, axis of uh, accuracy so we can see that we actually uh, achieve more uh, uh, in less uh, com complexity, uh, favorable accuracy results. Great. So, so uh, we talked about uh, low precision neural networks. So it's few bits. What what about we? Uh, so uh, now a little bit we talk about binary and ternary uh, neural net networks. So uh, a ternary binary neural net networks is represented by by one bit. Okay, and ternary neural networks is actually represented by two bit. It's 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 actually have three uh, levels. Okay, so here we have we have here three 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 levels of uh, we three th three bins. So we want to take uh, uh, we are actually taking from our floating point. And transfer it for to three bins. It's what we do our quantization. Great. So uh, our training scheme is actually we we are taking full precision uh, uh, weights where we make some normalization. Here we clipping the interesting uh, the interesting areas. We quantize f uh, first for uh, the range the zero, one, and and minus one. And then we uh, trained our quantization by scaling by learned uh, the num the WP and w and the minus WN. It's actually the numbers that we want to to learn to achieve better results. Okay, here. So we want to to learn. So zero, it's it's zero. We don't learn, but we learn the. Uh, so again, we 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 want to 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 learn the WN and the, the WP to to achieve a, a better to, to to actually to train our. Uh, thresholds. Okay, so how we do it? We uh, le so we will talk about. So let's see how what what happens here. So here we stam start from some uh, again. So let let's see. So before uh, before we are we are starting, we have here we have here. Actually, you, I I will. It's not. I prefer I prefer to do it. Yeah, I want to enlarge it a little bit. Let's see. So first, we started from uh, from a ternary weight per percentage. So first, our uh, from the first layer, from the first epoch, we had actually uh, thresholds from uh, zero, minus one, and one. Yeah, and then we, uh, when we are actually going deeper, uh, we uh, these uh, thresholds are actually changed. Okay. So here we have some. Okay. So here we, the number is it's it's going to be two, and here the number is going to be mi minus two. Okay, so it's the it's, it's actually the learnable numbers that uh, for achieving b best performance for ternary for three thresholds. Okay, so and we, what 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 actually happened then in uh, actually uh, it's uh, it's what happened from the first convolution and the second and and the, and the last linear level it's the gaps or the margins are uh, going to be larger. Okay, great, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the 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 important investigation. So, so we, what we hear, uh, what we see here, that how deeper we are going, your threshold is going to be, uh, the the gap is going to be larger. The conclusion is that the most important layers are the first one. As the further the you go, it's less and less important to have more and more feature maps because they are only the same. Way. It's one of the investigations that we have. Yeah. So we have no time. I, okay, great. We we have. Great, great. So, few, few, few minutes about motivations, motivation of neural network quantization during training. So, what, it, what, 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 what we've seen before, it's uh, training schemes for efficient inference quantization. So, only on test your m m models. But, but uh, actually, motivation to uh, do neural network, uh, actually to quantize during training, it's to decrease the power consumptions of the data centers. Because uh, when you train your, your data centers, you can actually it's, uh, consume a lot of power. So if if your if your algorithm is uh, uh, quantized during tra training, you can uh, save a lot of power, right? And uh, actually, to allowing uh, making fine tuning on low precision devices. So, so you can actually, if you want to do a few epochs of training on your 
uh, lower embedded all the, on, on your uh, ASIC sort of PJs. So you can do it if you can if you have some uh, power power con uh, uh, low power con uh, low power uh, training quantization. Great. So let's talk about a few problems uh, and actually that we, that we have uh, during uh, the quantization and what we need to to, to solve. So quantized weighted activations we already solved. Yeah, by uh, when we talked when we talked about inf inference uh, inf in inference uh, uh, quantization during in inference. So now we uh, we need to quantize batch normalizations or batch norms. Yeah, uh, or or actually batch normalization alternatives. Yeah, uh, by uh, fit them to scale to to actually uh, to to the new scale of of the numbers of the representations, and the second one it's uh, in the most important it's it's quantized gradients. Okay, so actually quantized are, uh, a lot of uh, so uh, 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 pro uh, a lot of prior works have talked about how to uh, uh, quantize your gradient representation. To achieve, uh, to to actually to to achieve good good results, because uh, uh, so reducing precision of of of, of the gradient representations harms dramatically on your on your performance. Okay, so there are no work until now that can actually uh, quantize your gradient uh, for very low precision. So the the best work the uh, best work that the, the lowest representations that. Uh, of of the gradient that uh, seen uh, that we have seen un until now, it's eight bit. So we we have one one of the papers. So you know it's a eight bit uh, t t training. So we can uh, until now we cannot reduce the representation of gradients less than eight bit. So the guys who who are, who are uh, take this project the projects on quantization will uh, do more uh, uh, deeper investigation on this scheme next week. We uh, have on on Wednesday completion on graphs. We will see applications. Uh, yeah, thank you.